everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Prisma Haven, and that was my phone. <laughs> uh, and today, we are going to be doing a eye tutorial. Uh, as you can see, I've already tried at this before. My recording, voice recording, stopped for some reason. And then something else on my phone, on my computer came up. So, try this again, shall we? <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to give you tips on how to draw an anime eye. Uh, I'm going to use my own, uh, how I draw my avatar's eye, as a reference. Uh, you don't necessarily have to draw it step by step. You can do use these tips with any shape or of anime eye. Uh, I'm going to do a oval shape, because this is step one I t uh, that I personally take. Uh, you can... You don't have to do these steps in order either, so I just recommend doing the shape first. Uh, and also, if you if you if you have a hard time putting down the shape, then you can put down or the size of the eye. Then you can do what you can do is uh, kind of draw a guideline in this. But for me, that guideline does not help. It for me it just makes it harder so I'm just if you want to do that you can it helps with figuring it out sometimes where especially when you're drawing a head and you're trying to figure out where the eyes are gonna go that it can help I don't do that personally but that can help uh, the next step is the bottom lid sometimes I don't do the bottom lid f right away sometimes I'll do the lashes first which is the next step and uh, on, because I'm doing my own character, I'm doing three on each side. And you can do however many eyelashes you want. You can do three on both sides. You can do three on one side. You can do some kind of like sponge bobs. You can do them as high as you want. You can do them as big as you want. You can do them as small as you want. They can be pointy, thin, thick really does not matter. Uh, you can also put them on the bottom. So like this. You can put them on the bottom. Like that. Kind of looks like a mouth. <laughs> uh, if you're doing a male, if you're following these tips and you're doing a male eye. Uh, so over here I was explaining this right here. And this right here is considered uh, lashes. So instead of doing that, if you're doing like a trapezoid shape for a male eye, go a little over. And those are what the eyelashes for a guy is. For a long time I thought anime, anime characters, male characters don't have eyelashes. But only realized these are the eyelashes. Um... So now it's the shape of the eye, we've got the lashes and the shape of the eye down. The next step that I take is drawing in the iris. Now, the iris kind of really depends on the shape of the eye you're doing. Like the shape of the iris depends on the shape of the eye. Uh, with this eye, it's an oval shaped eye, so I do an oval shaped iris. Uh, and I also leave it open. That's what I personally like. But if you wanna, if you like it better closed, then you can go ahead and close it. Uh, and with this one, it, I would I I like doing a, just a normal circle, almost. Cause with the male eye, I like I like having the eyes seem more open. It makes them seem more innocent. I like the good guy. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I just like good guys. Um, then the next thing I do, sometimes I don't do this until after I've com finished off the whole shape of the eye and all that, um, is the upper lid crease. You can put that there. Uh, the sa then I do the pupil I like you can do draw the pupil as a solid shape so like an oval like that which does look good 
but I personally like kind of doing it like this. Kind of like, I don't know, what would you call this shape? Kind of an oval shape, but with a bit off right here. It just makes it look kind of like there's a highlight there without having to put lines. And, and that's actually, the next step is putting in the highlight. You can put the highlight, you can put big highlights in, you can put small highlights in, you can put them almost wherever you want. Uh, and then that's, that's how you draw the eye. Uh, I'm going to give you a tip on how to draw, I'm going to go a little extra and I'm going to go with the eyebrow which is very very simple for my character that I'm using a reference from I'm referencing it's a line like that literally a single line just like that now with other characters their eyes have more of a bushy eyebrow like this and you can sketch out the shape you can make them pointy so it'd be like this, bigger at the bottom than at the top. Um, but the character I'm using, her eyes, her eyebrow is just a single line, single curved line. Add eyelashes down here. Uh, and and it, the uh, and some characters, some characters I've seen don't even have an eyebrow some of them their pupils look different uh, one of my characters they have a slitted pupil like a cat or snake so really depends on your how you draw the eye can depend on really depends on the character and s since the eyes are the window to the soul I would suggest um, making the eye based on the character so like my character she is very innocent uh, she's kind and the good the overall good guy so to speak so her eye is very big to pro to show the innocence and I have her um, eyebrow up like this and in, s in just a curve and it just kind of makes it look, oh, that's that's a kind person. That's the good guy. Um, people who actually make animes, they use that too, the eyes. So, like, the bad guys will have, like, this kind of eye. Very slitted. Very... Sh sorry, my cat is rubbing up against... Stop it, Shadow. She's rubbing up against the uh, tripod. Um, but yeah, animators will do that. This and make the male or, or female eye very slanted like this. And it just kind of makes it seem like the more edgy type, I guess you'd call it. Whereas this makes it seem more of the innocent type. And you'll, s and you'll see eyes like this in... Um, Pokemon, like Ash Ketchum's eye, his eye is very big and round, showing uh, his innocence. It's kind of showing his innocence in a way. But yeah, just depending on the character you're creating, whether he's good guy, bad guy, uh, female, male, uh, kid, adult too, because because uh, with Ash, his eyes in the same shape as and there's my eye here but you don't see that shape of eye very often with male adults you can from time to time I'm not saying that it, you don't do that I'm saying it's not very often and it kind of it also kind of conveys youth so yeah, depending on the character y you are making your drawing you you, you might want to look more into uh, eyes, eye shapes, and what they would kind of show and convey to get it matching with your character. Uh, 
But yeah, that's all I have. All the tips I have uh, for drawing the eye. I'm not going to go into shading because I'm still kind of trying to learn that. Uh, for coloring in, I would go from darker. So like f this would area would be very light and then this area would be like very, very dark. And then you just kind of gradient down. Um, but that's all I have that I can really show you guys um, all the tips I have that's how I draw an eye and again you don't have to follow this step by step it's not a step by step tutorial it's just and you don't have to follow every tip I give you could just uh, this is just how I draw an eye and this is what I find is the main basis of drawing an anime eye when you break it down into bits and pieces depending on your style of anime and all that but uh but yeah anyways thank you for watching this video uh, if you enjoyed it please leave a like uh comment down below uh if you if this tutorial this i guess tips if these any of these tips helps you in drawing the eye and also subscribe and click the bell for future content. Uh, I post Wednesdays between 4 and 5 and Sundays at 11 a.m. So if you're interested, then yeah, subscribe, click the bell, like if you enjoyed the video, and comment if this was helpful to you. Uh, and if it wasn't, then let me know what you think I could change down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, until the next Artastic video, bye!